Uh, hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's video upload. And if this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I hope you'll stay a while by smashing that subscribe button. And if you care to be notified each time I post new video content, then consider smashing that post notification bell as well. Now that we got all that out the way, if you're interested in seeing what I picked up this week, all you have to do is keep right on watching. Okay, so this is going to be in no particular order, but I'm going to go ahead and start with this since it was too big to fit into my little tub here. And this is the Tahitian Summer Splash Odor Remover Fabric Refresher from uh, Fab. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that they've been carrying the Fab laundry detergent lately at Dollar Tree, but this is the first time around for this. I've never seen uh, this product at the Dollar Tree before. I'm assuming that it will be comparable to the um, Febreze fabric refresher. So um, I kind of have high hopes for this. It smells wonderful. I opened it up and smelled it in the store and um, yeah, it has a nice, pleasant, clean smell. So I, like I said, I have high hopes for it and I will give you my review on that once I try it. Then, um, Another thing that I picked up were these candles. Now, typically I have been putting a halt on hauling too many candles from Dollar Tree simply because they're not all that promising scent wise, but they usually kind of get me with their packaging. And if I can upcycle and repurpose the jars, then I'll purchase them from time to time. So this time around, I found these two candles, um, Zen and Karma. And the Zen is in the white ginger and amber and the karma is frankincense and vanilla now these candles look very upscale and high end i like the fact that they're white candles so they go with you know any kind of decor and this looks like something that you will find like an urban outfitters or someplace like that and uh, they look a lot more than a dollar so i had to pick them up also speaking of higher end looking is this nice um sleek looking candle and the scent river rock and it's a soy blend and um it just looks more masculine and it has kind of a cologne like a fresh clean soapy cologne kind of scent if you will and so most of my candles are uh, geared, genderly geared more towards feminine, but I don't have too many masculine candles, and so I had to pick that one up. Then, um, I've seen these hauled a while back already, but they hadn't made their appearance to my stores, and uh, these are from the old Williamsburg candles, and they're called Pure Tea Leaf. And um, I just really got a kick out of the jar. The jars are so... Yeah, I can't really see the scent on them without my glasses. But they do smell wonderful. And these would make nice additions to a basket for um, Mother's Day. Perhaps someone that you know that's a tea drinker that enjoys to drink tea. You can put together a nice little tea themed basket with maybe a little a tea strainer, a mug, some teas, the candles, a nice relaxing basket. So it's just a thought and uh, I picked those up. Then um, the kids are going to be out of school on, they're going to have um, spring break vacation coming up now and also for the summertime I like to look for things to keep them busy and this was just a little game that I found for two or more players and it's ages six and up and it's called what am I and so I'm assuming you just flip the little card and put it on and tuck it inside the little band so that you can see it and then the other player has to um, describe it so that they can guess what it is kind of like charades so I thought that was cute and I had to pick it up and then correct me if I'm wrong I don't know if they changed the packaging but um, I used to uh, 
always pick up a multi-surface wipes from Dollar Tree. They were one of my favorite items to pick up regularly, repeat items. And uh, for some reason, I haven't been seeing the kind I normally haul in the uh, black packaging. And uh, But I did see these, so I'm wondering if it's the same item, just a different packaging. Comment down below if you know. And um, also, I picked up this charcoal acne scrub, and this just says it has charcoal cleansing technology, helps clear acne and blemishes. It's a deep pore cleanser, and this is from Greenbrier International. I do like... Um, charcoal cleansers so i'm gonna give this one a try while i was down that beauty and skincare aisle i did stumble across a few new makeup items now these are in the sinful colors sinful colors have made their appearance in dollar trees plenty of times um a couple of years back they everybody was going crazy and freaking out over the kylie jenner sinful color polishes and i was one of them so um sinful colors is not a new item um name brand to the Dollar Tree, but in any event, this is a new item now, and these are retractable lip liners. So I picked this one up in like a plum color, and then I picked this one up. It says uh, it's a rose, like a, let me see. Yeah, it's a rose color. This one is called Violet Vixen. Uh, this one is called Raisin Impairment, and this one is called uh, Blue Auto Nature, something like that. I don't know. I stand to be corrected because I don't have my glasses on, and I could barely see this tiny fine print, but nonetheless, I picked up these five, and I was happy to have found that. I also was happy to have found this uh, setting spray, and this is from the LA Colors brand. Um, never tried it before. Uh, it looks convenient for the portability. You can stick it in your purse if you don't want to take, you know, your good uh, setting sprays with you. This is a good option to have. And then also in the sinful colors, I found this is called Face Forward All Over Highlighter Stick. And it's a highlighter, so I'm eager to try that as well. And then I had passed this by and passed it up a couple of times. I seen a couple of people haul it. I really wasn't interested at first, but then I decided, you know what? Let me just pick it up and give it a try. For a dollar, I wouldn't mind playing around with this. And what this is, it's called Eye Magic, and it's just kind of like a tattoo strip. And you basically, you place it on your eye, you press it down for a few minutes, and it's supposed to give you a full and complete uh, layered eye coverage, a smoky eye, or they have different um, kinds. And it shows you step one, step two, and step three, step-by-step -step instructions in the back. So I brought that one home. And then I found this little wall decor plaque that says good day with the eyelashes. Anything with eyelash and makeup related automatically gets my attention since I'm trying to um, reorganize my beauty room. I figured this would make a great little addition to that as well. Then I'm a sucker for magnets and Dollar Tree always gets me with their little quirky things. And so this week I found three. This one says I I love naps, Netflix, and long walks to the fridge. If that isn't me, I don't know what is. I just thought this was hilarious, and I had to. This one says, weird is a side effect of being awesome. It also describes my personality to a T, so I had to grab that one up. And this one says, I don't even believe in myself when I say I'll be ready in five minutes. If this is not the truth, I don't know what is. I'm always saying I'll be there in five minutes, in five minutes. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> then in the kitchen department, the last three items, and then the haul will be over. I found this plastic sink strainer with the um, popsicles on it, and I just thought this was so stinking adorable for the summertime. I've picked up their sink strainers in the past, but for the most part, they are um, like silicone. This one is like a hard plastic, which um, I'm eager to see how this one will do. Nonetheless, I just picked up this one to try it out. And last but not least, I picked up these um, two little ramekins because I'm um, doing the keto lifestyle now. And there's a lot of um, 90 second recipes and uh, mug cakes and breads and stuff that you can make in the microwave. And they require a little ramekin bowls like these so i thought this was essential for me to pick up and that's it guys that concludes this week's dollar tree haul i hope you enjoyed i hope you've seen something that you like and that you might consider going out and looking for as always i will meet you back here in my next haul don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like any of the items that you saw and if you have any comments down below i love to interact Bye now. Talk to you in the next one.